Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. Today I'm going to show you guys how to activate Windows again if you have recently performed a hardware change or upgraded something on your computer's hardware. So this frequently occurs when you're trying to upgrade your system specs and it's a pretty common issue to have. So in this brief tutorial I'm going to offer you guys a suggestion as to hopefully how to resolve this problem. Now, it's not going to work for everybody, more than likely, but it should work for a sizable group of the population. So that's why I'm going to make this video. And we're going to start by heading over to the Start button and left-click on it. And then you want to left-click on this gear icon that appears right above the Power button. And when you hover over it, it should say Settings. You want to left-click on this button. So now underneath settings, you want to go and you want to left click on the area that says update and security. It should be near the bottom. So I'm going to click on the update and security tile. And there should be something that says Windows Update on the left side here. So that's how you know you're underneath the right area. So then you want to go down to where it says activation right here. On the right side here, if it's not currently upgraded, you want to click on a button that says Troubleshoot. It'll say if you're having problems with activation, select Troubleshoot to try. It should be a little gear icon next to it as well, like a wrench, I should say, more like a wrench icon. And you would click on that and it should run an automatic troubleshooting utility. And hopefully at that point it would be able to activate your version of Windows and you should be good to go. So I do hope this brief tutorial was able to help you guys out. And as always, thank you for watching and I will catch you in the next tutorial. Goodbye.